the NGROC Ingress controller is the fastest way to enable secure internet access to your Kubernetes workloads without requiring additional provisioning of internet URLs, public IPs, DNSs, and other things you would need over the internet. With the Ingress controller from NGROC, you can just decide and define these rules and these requirements from your deployment manifest. And when you run your cluster, it communicates with NGROC in the cloud and provides everything you need to get your application going. It doesn't matter where your cluster is deployed. It could be in AWS, in GCP, even in your local host. Like in my example here, we're gonna show in a second, and you get that consistent access. More than that, NGROC also provides middleware functionality over the edge. So you're not only enabling access to your cluster and to your workloads, but you're doing this in a secure way. This middleware provides functionality varying, varying from load balancing and encryption all the way to authentication and observability. And it's also offloading all these uh, requirements and responsibilities from your cluster. For example, if you get a wrong request, an authorized request, it's blocked even before reaching your infrastructure, saving you some overhead and also making things simple and more consistent. Let me show that with an example. I have my Kubernetes cluster running here in my local host, port 8081. It's a 2048 game. And when you look at my deployment manifest, you will see the traditional Kubernetes deployment with an ingress, the out of the box Nginx provided with Kubernetes. As you can see here, quite simple. Let's replace that with the NGROC version of it. The NGROC ingress controller uses the same uh, standard notation for ingress from Kubernetes. So we are working on the standard. So I'm just gonna comment this out and uncomment the ingress controller. And as I do so, I wanna bring attention to a couple of things. Like I said, we're using the standard Kubernetes notation. And then there are three things worth the attention here. The first one is that here we're signaling we're using the NGROC version of the controller. The second is this is the host or the URL in which my application will be available from the internet. You can pick your own domain if you would like to. We have integration with your own domain. But in my case here, I'm going to use ngroc.io, which is available for free, and you can use at any time. So I'm using my own subdomain here. And the third one is that we have an annotation here. So we are using a custom resource definition, uh, leveraging the Kubernetes extensibility to turn on and to set up the middleware modules available in NGROC. For my annotation here, I'm gonna do two things. The first one, I'm using the circuit breaker module. So if my application goes over the threshold, there are many errors, NGROC will automatically cancel requests for a time to alleviate the back pressure. And the second one is that I'm using authentication, more specifically social auth from Google. And also I'm making sure that only Google users with the email at ngroc.com can access my application. I don't need to get all the details about OAuth and social authentication. I just need to save my deployment manifest here, apply my config, and as soon as I do this, within seconds, my application talks to NGROC in the cloud and get everything I need provisioned across all the global points of presence from NGROC. So if I go back here and I try localhost once again, it won't work because I don't have that middleware, sorry, that ingress controller available anymore. But now if I try NGROC, which by the way includes HTTPS, for example, as one of the facilities, I need to go through the middleware module. Like I said, if the access is not right, for example, here, I'm trying a gmail.com, which should not work. It doesn't go well. But if I try that email, which is authorized according to my middleware rules, I'm gonna get access to my application. So to recap, with the NGROC ingress controller, you can define all these uh, ingress rules in the provisioning, in the module, in the middleware that you need straight from your deployment manifest without having to configure public IPs, URLs on the internet, edges, global points of presence, and it works everywhere. 
Your cluster could be sitting on-prem, in your laptop, in different cloud providers. You get that same consistent security in access and acceleration.